Fuck off, Craig. <laughs> God damn it. To be fair, that's your one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our chaotic family. Welcome to the first week of our game reviews and upcoming games. I am one of your co-hosts tonight, The Arsonist. Um, Lion, go ahead and take the reel on this one. <clears throat> okay. Oh. <laughs> Good, bro? <laughs> that caught me so off guard. Nah, I was expecting it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So here's what it what this whole uh new series is gonna be every Monday. We're just gonna basically give you guys the runaround of what's coming out, uh what betas and what alphas or whatever we've played, and um yeah, just basically go over some little bit of gaming stuff each week just to get people excited for new things coming out. Uh, alrighty. Take it away, Davis. What's your uh, first topic that you have? So, uh, releasing on October 5th, there's the remake of Alan Wake, which looks honestly very similar to how it did, just a little bit revamped in terms of graphics. AJ, anything to say on that? Nothing much. I'm more or less, I guess the best way to put it is I'm kind of, I grew up playing Alan Wake, so I'm more or less excited for what they're going to do with it. I just hope they stay kind of like to the T with certain things. Maybe add, uh, what's the best way to put it? You know how in MW2 Remastered, how they uh, gave you the achievement, uh, like preemptive thinking or something like that. Great Killing Shepard. Oh. Yep. Killing Shepard right as you enter in the pit and all that. What system um, was this originally for? I don't think I've ever played it. I know it's releasing on the PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. Yeah, but what did it first come out on? Like, what gen was it? PlayStation. That was uh, the 360 and the uh, PS3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was the PS3 and the Xbox 360 it first came out on. Gotcha. Back on May 14th, 2010. Also releasing on October 5th is... Lego Z Avengers, where you get to play as 108 different characters, including the not as attractive version of Aunt May. Wait, is it the <laughs> old version? Hold yeah, on, is it the old, old lady yeah, version yeah. from the original one? Yeah, it's the, the old, old lady version. version. <laughs> A little oh, guilty. No. Oh no, no more fantasies oh, no. anymore. Yeah, I know. Aunt May be hitting different lately on the new Spider Man. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is oh. the one. Speaking, uh, speaking of over. Spider-Man and all that, have you guys seen uh, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage? Yes. No, I see I it on Wednesday. Don't it. don't ruin it. I see all it right. on Wednesday. I'm not going to spoil anything, but all I can say, Q, is like after the movie's done and it rolls the credits, stick around. There's a little oh, uh, after credit oh, scene yeah. that you're going to love. Oh, AJ always. knows exactly what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, too. I saw it Saturday oh, yeah. for my birthday. Yeah, that after credits scene blew my fucking oh, mind. Yeah. Fred. 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 <laughs> it blew okay. my mind. Well, now we're rated R. <laughs> All right. What, are, what do we got up next? So also, um, releasing on October 7th, the long-awaited Far Cry 6 is dropping. Which we have the person who's become one of the more well-known villains in all of the world with taking over as the main antagonist and why can I not think of the name? They just kind of feel copy and pasted now, don't they? They do feel a little copy and pasted, but they have the same villain playing the main villain in Far Cry 6 as well as the guy who's the main antagonist in why can I not think of it? Disney Plus Baby Yoda Struggling here. Mandalorian? Yes, yeah, the Mandalorian. <laughs> why was that so hard? I was yeah, going to say, why was that? Day, I've been doing homework all God for See, sake I, I think that. the thing that I'm most excited for with uh, Far Cry 6 is the uh, the little extra 
that they're bringing in with it. Uh, if I remember yeah. correctly, yeah, it's called Be the Villain. Like, you get to play as Voss from Far Cry 3, the villain from Far Cry 4, the villain from Far Cry 5. You get to see their story before, you know, everything happened, everything went down. See, I'll always play the Far Cries as they come out because I love the series, but New Dawn definitely ruined it for me. Yeah, like, New it's Dawn not as fun sucked. anymore. Yeah. New Dawn sucked. But, but, Far Cry 6, there's, there's a little chorizo. A little tiny dachshund with a little handicap. He's so cute. wheelchair dog. Uh, dude, the only thing I care about was cheeseburger from Far Cry Five. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> when I first played Far Cry Five, I forgot that cheeseburger was on my team, and I threw a shovel into his face. <laughs> I think we've all. Done I was like, that oh crap, once. cheeseburger. Do we know if Far Cry Six is going to be crossplay? I oh. I don't know. I, I feel like more and more games are doing it, but that being a game where you can only have like what I think four people in a lobby, I don't know if they'll do it. But hear me out here, for all you non-native Florida people, you can relive your um fantasies of becoming Florida man with Guapo, a bloodthirsty I... Far Cry Six crocodile. Jesus Christ! I've never once wanted to live in Florida, so I'm I'm, I'm good. No, 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 it's no, it's no offense does. towards you, but a lot of people in Florida. No, are all, offense, all the... offense is too fucking hot. I ain't gonna lie. It's too <laughs> See, hot. There's another f bomb. Hey. No, no, just the people there are just yeah. It, it's either fully sended people or like retirement home people. Harley, remember that thread I gave or you before the next <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Keep it yeah, in it's mind. Okay. It's okay. But you get you I also can, get your own. I, which I, is I, a, I can talk crap on uh, Florida because my dad moved there, so yeah, I I, I can talk as much crap. All oh, right, past, past the daddy issue. So what's next? <laughs> All other still other Pokemon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you got, Davis? I'll just keep shutting up. Okay. <laughs> At least, uh, on October eighth on the Switch, there's a um, triple drop with Tetris Effect, which that you know, was so much fun with those who. I've grown up playing Tetris, Disco Elysium. That I sounded just... so insta like <laughs> not true. <laughs> You're like that was so that much game. fun. Yay, Tetris! <laughs> Yay! Any like hype at all? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna just sit. I'm gonna be the odd one out and just say, if you play Tetris and enjoy it, you're a sociopath. Yay! Well, all right. Screw me, then. <laughs> I mean, I liked playing the Mortal Kombat version of it. Like, that shit was fun. People that just sit there for hours and play Tetris with yeah. CFS. There's also Disco Elysium coming out on October 8th on the Switch, which is... What's that about? I, I don't think I've heard about that game yet. Um, actually, it kind of looks like a RPG, like, zombie type of thing. Like... I don't know how to compare it, but its graphics look similar to those of 2004. Delivery. Speaking of zombies, actually, Back for Blood drops on the 12th. Yes, we're doing a live stream that day. Release day, we're going to do a live stream I definitely that. won't have it that day, so I'll be missing out on that. And October 8th has the most um, coveted Nintendo Switch drop, with Metroid Dread being released. I've heard good things, but I've also heard bad things about Metroid Dread. I mean, in my from what well, I've previous well, reports, you know how I stand with Metroid. When was the last Metroid dropped? Like, how long in between? Is there a last game it's now? been years. Really? I thought it was only days, AJ. <laughs> so the last Metroid... Was Samus Returns 2017. Mm. Okay, that wasn't too long ago. I guess I didn't see that one, but I also just recently got a Switch. But Regardless, I'm excited to play as my um, childhood crush again. Samus Aaron. You know the funny thing uh, about you guys saying that? I didn't even know Samus was a girl until I played Smash Brothers like 12 I didn't, years later. Well, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> my really? first time knowing Samus was a girl was in the very first Metroid game because if you beat it 100% like all items and all that you get He's in a, a special thing of her in a bikini basically oh, yeah. <laughs> best easter egg ever well, you yes. see, uh, for me it was I had a um, girlfriend who cosplays at it at one point and that costume didn't last long alrighty <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, I deal with me. I deal with me. Deal with me. Okay, stupid name, puto. Aren't you hey. talking about a uh, shit? The oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. It's from the same people who made the Marvel Avengers. Capcom. No, Galax- uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a new Guardians oh, yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, but that doesn't game. release until October 26th. So I thought we were oh, really? just the update. Okay. Yeah, I know there's a lot of good games coming out this month, but it's, it's always Apple. October and November where the best games come out. Oh, by the way, Davis, uh, my team might be able to give you a run for your money now that I was able to evolve some. Let me put a. Uh, hold on that, and I'll actually get my competitive team out to play against you then. Oh, no, these aren't like a comp team. These are just on my uh, my regular team. I know, John, but as lo- if I keep you from ever winning against me, and then I were like two or three wins, I can say I'm undefeated against you. Your so, um, going off of the fact that we're talking about Pokemon, releasing later next month is Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which are the Gen 4 remakes that we've been begging for for quite a while now. Wait, really? It's coming out in November? It's coming out in November. And along mm-hmm. with it, they're having a revamped Underground, which has easier ex- access to new Pokemon, depending on the statues that you put in your um, base. Along with now, it. see, I wonder if the underground will still be used to uh, get Spiritomb. I'm sure that they will at least bring that back, so there's still that little bit of nostalgia to it, because Lord knows it was a great time. <laughs> but, going off of all of that, because of the biggest pain in the neck around back in the old days was Munchlax, which looks like it'll be a whole lot easier to obtain compared to the painstaking 200 hours I put into trying to find it in the previous games. <laughs> there. Yeah. Also, speaking of Pokemon, Davis, do you have a Riolu by chance? I have a Lucario. Could you possibly breed an, a Riolu egg for me? I possibly could. Because I'm probably going to switch out Beware on my team. And if I'm going to, it's going to be a Lucario. But I can't get Riolu until I have six badges. All right. There's one last thing that I wanted to uh, bring up. I know it's not for... uh, It'll be on next week's probably as well. But uh, when the 15th, the Crisis Remastered will be coming out. True. I'm I was going to refer that. I'm all the other games. Last they're, remaster- they're remastering the whole series. I've never actually got to play them. They're good. But they, I will as soon as it comes out remastered. It's one of those things like Mass Effect where, I don't know, I felt like I didn't like it at first. Did you say so, Mass, Effect? Mass Effect's great. I didn't Mass like Mass Effect when great, I played though. it on the PS3. But I did like it when I bought the PS4 remastered version. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mass Effect's a great game. We but, yeah, are missing. Nope. Go ahead, AJ. Go no, you go on. You, you, you started talking. I cut you off. I don't want to be mean. Uh, uh, I was just going to say that that's really the main thing I'm excited for that's coming out within the next two weeks besides Back for Blood. And uh, Dude, I, I guess Far sorry. Cry. Far Cry Far Cry is a hit or miss. I probably won't buy it release day. I'll probably watch some footage on it first. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, take it away, AJ. There's a couple things I've been... Um... I, I've been kind of looking for and whatnot. I guess I kind of quote unquote changed the topic game wise. Um, Diablo 2 Resurrection. I had that pre ordered. Um, 
and I started playing it recently. It feels amazing. Um, I do believe... Actually, I have Cold War pulled up right now. I know Season 5 is supposed to be ending... In two, two, three days, roughly. Um, Forsaken. The new zombies map. Yeah. Treyarch just dreeped, uh, well, dreep. Treyarch just dropped a um, trailer for the game, for the uh, the um, map itself. I hate when I dreep this game. From what I seen, AS is gonna be nuts. This is going to be really, really nuts. Um, furthermore, on that topic, we're supposed to be getting a new weapon. The, I don't know axe. what the hell it is. It's an axe. It's axe. Yeah, it's yes. an axe that has two two uh, functions on it. I'm not sure what the functions are, but I know it's like a uh, uh, ether crystal axe type of thing. Ooh, that sounds nice. Bring <laughs> in experiences. Nothing will beat the Cerberus, though. The Cerberus was, in my opinion, the best, latest uh, wonder weapon. I still have I, not used the Cerberus. I haven't used the Cerberus. You know, my teammates are selfish whenever I play Mao, so I had a fun time with that. Personally, I, mean, I do it. love the Cerberus just because of the different utility in it. And it's so powerful. Yeah. Like it, it, it cleans a horde of zombies in seconds. Yes, it does. That's about fun. what's coming up in season six, though. At least for me, because I I grew up playing a lot of the older Black Ops and whatnot. PhD Flopper's coming. Yes, I'm so no PhD Slider. It's Slider. Well, quote unquote it's Flopper Slider. They're going back to their old design for uh. Yeah, the 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 Flopper uh, would, in, but Flopper would indicate that they brought the Dolphin Dive back, which I would love if they brought the Dolphin Dive back, but sadly, same. No. It's still the slide. That would Black be broken is, if they brought it back. Yeah, yeah. Black Ops 2 is probably my favorite. Yo. Well, since um, bring, I, I don't know why yeah. people like talk so much crap on Transit and stuff. Like Transit was one of the best maps, in my opinion. Transit was memeable. That's why yes. they did it. it. It was memeable, but it was so good. The fact that you could go from the bus station to the town, the farm, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, was amazing. First actual open... Almost open concept zombies, in there. almost, and then they brought out outbreak, which is completely open. Right. I know the fog and the lava and the denizens were really put into the game because the, the, the map was too for, big. Yeah, the denizens is what made people switch away from. They're like, oh, they're too annoying. Right. But if you had the guys, just like the jumping game. jacks. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should remake some of the... I, I've been talking to some of my friends. I really think they should remake Firing Range. That would be a great map to put into Vanguard, Cold War, what, like, whatever. Firing they Range. They need to. Like, they have Newtown in every single Cold War or every single Black Ops. Why not Firing Range? It was, like, the second best map. Firing Range was in one, two... I don't no, remember if it made the... No, it was like a DLC, but it was like different in, in 3 or something like that. Yeah, so it was... Fire and Range in 1, Studio in 2, and then yes. I didn't play Black Ops 3, so... But they should bring back Fire the Range. Well, the, Range was amazing. the problem with uh, Sledgehammer and them doing this game is that, like, it's going to be more feeling like Modern Warfare than it is, like, Black Ops. Black Ops yeah. yeah, that's one of the downsides about it. Yeah, because Cold War was supposed to be a Sledgehammer product, because they usually take turns, but, uh, yeah, obviously, Sledgehammer didn't get to make Cold War. Or their version this year, so they're making it. Therefore, I think this is Sledgehammer's first yeah, time making a World War game, because usually it's just Treyarch and Activision. That's true. Sucks. Activision sucks. I hate them. Well, that's all I have for the day. Right it's literal. You? That's about all, pretty much. Well, to go back to what I was trying to say. Go for it. If they're bringing the wonder weapon of an axe in, I get to relive my childhood of chasing off the scary raccoons I kept working into my chicken coop with an axe. <laughs> I get to relive my uh, Pokemon Ghost days of the map where you could become Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
get to relive my days of playing Four Honor. <laughs> oh, great game. It's been a while since I played it. I'm an Orochi main, but I will still go back and play Viking or something like that. I usually play the Shigoki, the big fat dude with the club. Yeah, he's my go to. Yup. His grabs are all the power. Yes, yes, his bear hug, just crunch you and steal health. It's it, it, <laughs> overpowered. Oh, yeah. I think that about concludes everything that we got to talk about, though. Is uh, Does anybody else have any suggestions and whatnot to make before we all part ways? I mean, I don't know the official release date, but all anime fans, there's the kind of open world Demon Slayer coming out. I saw that. That looks great. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I watched the anime, and it was just kind of I bought the movie just because I finished the anime, and... I'm not going to lie, I was not disappointed at all. Like, Bro, when am I going to get my um, my Goblin Slayer game? I, I don't know. When do you I, want it? I want to kill Goblins. I mean, if you want to do that, go find Danny DeVito's family. <laughs> I mean, oh, you no. goblins go play uh, Shadow of Mordor. That has a lot of orcs and stuff like that. Well, damn. On True. that note, <laughs> on the killing Danny Speedo's family note, uh, we're gonna sign off for the day. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe. You know, do your thing. Uh, expect this every Monday. You get the boys together, and we're gonna talk gaming. Do it, or Danny DeVito will come to your house. Do it along, along, with what, along with what Q said, kill goblins. Alrighty. I will find him. See y'all. <laughs> <laughs>